Well, here we go again, Eric. Yep. I thought I had it all figured out to then figure out that it ain't gonna work. So, we gotta make some changes here. We're not too far along. We're gonna get to reuse that platform. We gotta make some changes. Let's get this discussion started so that we can get to work. So as you can see, Eric's over there getting ready to disassemble the platform. Instead of putting the emoji on the screen, I'll just smack myself in the face. I thought the math was gonna work out and it worked out everywhere until we got to this last portion. And the math that we had going on was not a print. It was all out of my head, drawn on the wall as we went up through there. So we framed up this wall so that we could get to that point. And now we figured out this wall has to change some. And the entirety of the steps design is required to change because of our head space right here. We need 84 inches once we get up to this point and come across to get up to that platform. And in order to get this up to 84, we had to put three pie steps in each platform. And I'm like, okay, we can do that. And we get all the way over to this point. <clears throat> then we hit our head up in that corner on the rafters that'll be there long-term. So we're not nixing it 100%. We're only nixing it about 40%. Well, we do have a print now. Went over to Tom's house and I said, I know you have AutoCAD, let's draw this thing out. So here's what we've came up with. This is the top steps. And when I say this is the top steps, it's really not the top steps, but it connects to the top steps. You guys remember seeing the video where I framed up right there, what I'm calling the stairway to heaven. Well, the stairway to heaven has to continue. So the stairway to heaven stops right here on this line and the stairway to heaven needs to continue all the way down to this line, which would be a platform, which is this X here. So if you guys can just keep making those treads in your mind go up here, this is the stairway to heaven. This is the extension to the stairway to heaven. So we will come down through that wall, hit a platform, turn towards ourselves, hit another platform about right in this area, go all the way over to the ICF, come across that platform and then land over there, which will give us 41 and a quarter inches to exit once we disassemble a portion of that wall. So the first thing we're gonna do is take this platform apart because we also need to measure down eight and a quarter and then chamfer this corner so that we can guarantee ourselves the headspace that we need when you're standing on this step because the platform is gonna be right over top of your head, 84 inches high right here. So we gotta put a small slope on it to get to this point where you're down on the second or third step and you don't have any need for that platform. The most need that we have is eight and a quarter inches on that platform. So let's get to making some changes. Instead of starting at the top and working our way down, we're gonna start at the bottom and work our way up. And as we go, that will allow us to change this wall one time instead of guessing the change where we're gonna hit. Even though we have dimensions, not always is a wall perfectly true. I'm pretty confident these walls are really close. But if we build our way from there, the distance out that's needed, come up, get that platform remounted over here from this wall to that wall at that point, we can come up to it and then we can turn and we can figure out how we're going to hit this platform and those steps. When I say figure it out, it's already figured out. We just got to put it together. Cross our fingers, wish us luck. I have 99.9999% confidence that this is gonna work and that's probably gonna jinx me. But after we get to that point, we're gonna change this floor system just a little bit. We're gonna notch it out just about 30 inches worth. And yes, I gotta change the stairway to heaven. I gotta reduce that by 10 inches, but that's okay. Just one cut.
I know this is a really long time lapse, but I was majorly scratching my head this day. And if I'd have picked up that camera and performed a regular video, I would have talked and talked and talked and talked and probably not gotten as far as what we did. So hopefully you guys keep enjoying this time lapse because we did get a lot done in this setting. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome. Appreciate the help. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> it's dark. Yeah, it's dark. We got the lights on. It's getting late. Um, we had a, a few hours we could throw in this evening. We have got this wall opened up. This is where now this is the entrance to the steps. The red chalk line you see is your first step up. And then you go up to this red line. Once you make it to that red line, way over there, you come across all the way to this wall, and then you step up again, eight and a quarter inches, which really you're over here at this point, eight and a quarter at the end of that wall. And once you're there, you turn and you'll end up going through this wall to the very top. But it's the only way, and I mean that, the only way to build these steps with the roof system that I'm going to have over top of my head here and over top on that end over there. So that's tonight's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I know that was a lot of time lapse. I was trying to get to a really good point. And yes, I did screw something up. This header matches this elevation when realistically the only storage space I have is this elevation. But I wanted to get a header in there because it's going to support the floor joists that are coming across here. And I really didn't want that long of cripples. So I kind of just, well, I screwed up. And I am going to come back in here and throw a two by four across this and some more cripples in here just to fill in the gap. 
because I'm going to cut a door down. This is a 33 inch opening, I believe it is. 32 inch opening. So I might be able to squeeze a 32 inch door in there, just cut it down and have this door open up and then you would have storage from this level under. So you can put suitcases, clothes, whatever your vacuum cleaner, whatever you want in there. That'll just be a small little cubby hole for storage. Frame up a short wall on the backside once the platform is in there. I don't want to, um, I want to get that platform in there tomorrow. That's what I want to do there. And once that platform is in, coming across here, we can connect those, those stringers to it. And then we're good. Yeah, and then we're good. So hopefully tomorrow goes well. That was tonight's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. As always, like, comment, subscribe.